Good morning from Akiyeri, Iceland's second largest city. Getting ready to head out for the day. This is where I stayed last night. Just wanted to show you this view one last time. Isn't that beautiful? Got this little stream running down through here like this. And over there is Akiyeri. We're gonna cross the river and head over there and have some breakfast. And uh, we're heading back to Reykjavik today. I'm heading back to the United States tomorrow but I'll check in with you guys down the road. I've just pulled off on the side of the road. Yesterday, there was a huge yacht here that belonged to a Russian businessman. Today, he's moved it so everyone can get a better uh, view of it. But there it is. There's Akiyeri. Had to stop and show you guys that. Driving down the highway, just thought I would share with you all. Just got a uh, speeding ticket, get pulled over. So now, probably one of the few people who can say they've gotten a speeding ticket in Iceland. $300. I've driven all around Iceland, not seen a single police officer, and I see one on my last day of driving, and unfortunately it cost me 300 bucks, but I've had worse things happen to me, so I'll live. Just arrived here at our next stop, but before I show it to you, I just wanted to say that the Icelandic police are stern. Stern, but fair. Let's check this out. Look at that. Look at those. Nice. Nice. Check out, check out those falls. Beautiful. Let's walk up here on this uh, bridge so we can get an even better shot of the waterfall. There's the little speedster that just got me a $300 ticket. It's hard not to speed when you I have the power of Suzuki underneath you, but I drove all the way around the country and didn't get a ticket, so it was bound to happen eventually. It just had to happen my very last day of driving. But check out this waterfall. Time to get on back on the road. See you guys later. Well, I've just uh, gotten back in Reykjavik, which means I have completed Iceland's ring road. It was a long journey, but an enjoyable one, even though we did get a speeding ticket today. Here at my hotel for tonight, Suna in the city center. It's right across the street from the largest church in Iceland. See up there. Built in 1986, the Palmgrist Skurja. It's a Lutheran uh, parish church. It's, uh, like I said, it's been there since 1986. It's an impressive church. Well, it appears that I was 17 minutes late. The church is just closed, closed at three o'clock. So it opens at 11 tomorrow. So I'm gonna come back then and uh, check out the inside of it. I'm here in Reykjavik on my way to a place I've wanted to go to for a long, long time. You can kind of see how Reykjavik looks. Very colorful, very Scandinavian looking, but I'll check back in with you guys when I get there. I saw this on Facebook a few years ago, had forgotten about it. 
Didn't realize it was here until after I had already arrived in Iceland, but here it is. Lebowski Bar. Just got back to my room. I don't like to talk while people are sitting around eating in restaurants and bars, but Lebowski Bar was really cool. It was really uh, nice how they had it fixed up. Of course, you know, I'm a big fan of the movie and had wanted to go there for a long time, but uh, enjoyed it. But heading back to the United States tomorrow, I'm going to try to go to this uh, church over here and get some footage from inside here for you guys. But that's all for today. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning from sunny Reykjavik, Iceland. We're going to go check out that church that I was uh, we looked at yesterday. It was closed. I see now that it's open. But gorgeous church from the outside. We'll see if it looks as good on the inside. The statue is Leif Erikson, founded Vinland. It was actually donated to Iceland by America. That cathedral was a lot more simple inside than the ones we visited in uh, Mexico and Colombia, but very Nordic looking. I liked it though, the gray and everything, but not sure what I'm gonna do the rest of the day, heading back to the United States later today. So if I do see anything interesting, I'll film it for you guys, but I'll check in with you later. If you're ever in Iceland, this is the best bakery I've ever ate at. They have the best donuts in the world. Bernhaus Bakery. Best donuts in the world. Mmm. They melt in your mouth and the chocolate is just like, mmm, the best.